Sorry, y'all back at it again. All right. <clears throat> Just came up across another truck. Hope everything's good. Uh, all right, the auto car. Um, it works in the 136 as well as the one. Uh, I'll probably get that load right across the street from us since uh, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to pick up whatever. Uh, nice. Uh, I know some people have said that it wasn't working in 135. All you have to do is go into the actual mod and change the actual numbers, and it will be compatible. So if you say that oh, it's it incompatible, that isn't always true because if you you can actually change the numbers uh, in the uh, what is that called in the manifest <clears throat> and that's only for those that know how to actually break the mod down if you don't know how to break the mod down I had to uh, explain or uh, I can send you some information explaining uh, also you can look in the groups um, I probably sent information through the groups from one of the groups or I just bring it or I just let you I mean explain it on my own but uh, this is the uh, auto car. Uh, I'm not sure the name of it completely, but it's I got it off the uh, SCS soft uh, forearm. So the ind individual actually shared it. So I shared it across um, social media. So um, if you have any questions, I can share it with it to you. Uh, you got to inbox me or whatever or I can just put it, it will be on the group page and also if you um, if you're on Facebook I mean on YouTube I can also share it also because I have it uh, in my uh, I have it uh, in my uh, stored on my computer so <clears throat> um, I guess it was created moving forward to 136 so this is what we got so I'm gonna fire her up uh, we're gonna grab that load over there I got beacons and the only way the beacons are actually working on the top is because of a mod I had already in it so technically those are for the horns the airlines is on it uh, has multiple uh, multiple engines multiple transmissions looks good on the inside uh, you know, looks very good on the inside you can change the shifter shift knob you can change the steering wheel you put the jet the, uh, that little thing up there with the cat behind is up there you can, that's an air cleaner you can put that up there you can change to put the head um, the headache rack can change the mirrors could you can put change uh, uh, add mirrors on the front <coughs> add pumpers uh, what else you can do um, that's pretty much it um, you have to pretty much go into the detail of the, of the truck to really see what you can do um, I would try it out myself you know I'm trying it out myself now as we speak <clears throat> so I'm gonna go on and get this load right across the street probably I'm gonna pull over there we'll get this pick real quick and we're gonna get started I think I gotta get another picture so I didn't get this picture right here so and I'm gonna drive across the street and grab that um, rescue truck. Rescue truck. So. Uh, you got to excuse the little crazy little black whatever it is. Because I'm still in the open beta, so I'll be in there until. Uh, the game is released, I mean, well, the map is released, which is the 7th, which is only a few days away. So I've been in the beta pretty much for the past almost month, um, ever since it was released. And just to see exactly what has been, uh, what is new, what isn't new, and kind of making, brings things up to speed ahead of time before. Because uh, I've gotten two updates while I've been in the beta. So uh, the beta, I know some people are afraid to go into the beta because they worry about their mods and stuff like that. 
um, I would encourage you to actually create another profile and then you can use you can go into the beta like that and then once everything is released then you can actually update your stuff if you want I mean that's what I would do because I've done it <clears throat> I use other I don't use I'm not using all my profiles I'm just using something some profiles that are up to date in order for me to actually do what I'm doing the test the testing of the mod so um, so try to do the best I can I'm still um, feeling this, uh, feeling some pain a little bit, but other than that, I'm gonna try to go through with this. I didn't get a chance to finish uh, the other run, so I'm gonna try to do this real quick. So okay, this is gonna give us two hours. This is uh, in, uh, CN uh, underscore truck underscore uh, rescue forty two thousand uh, one hundred eighty three pounds. Uh, it's about to expire. So I'm gonna try to go on ahead. I'm just gonna run it anyway. It's gonna probably make us late anyway, so I don't care. I'm just gonna pretty much test the credibility of the truck. That's all I'm doing. So I can care less about uh, us being on time and things in that nature. So, <clears throat> so lights work. So just had to excuse the little. Uh, I don't expect the, the beta beat to be perfect, but I do expect it to show is back as show any little situations going on because not because uh, SES they gave us the opportunity to uh, report back to them in the forum if we had anything any issues. Normally I don't bother them, and you know I just gone with the flow because so, there's always going to be somebody bothering them anyway if they in the beta anyway, so it don't matter. <clears throat> And technically, I know everything will be fixed because they are actually in the beta or playing the game themselves. So, all right, let's see. Let's see if we can hook up to this puppy. Ooh, I think I'm overshot it. Shot it. And then this mod is actually something that was created by uh, uh, Nitro Dax 77. And he actually took the 680 truck and actually added trailers to it. You know, and then he kept the, the the front support attachment for fifth wheel support. So and then we hooked up. We are hooked up. So now, so um, advanced coupling does work. So we're gonna hook up. Okay, airlines work. Everything else looked like it worked good. Do a tug test. So we good on that. All right, and we already done. Already done pretty much. Uh, let y'all know. I can tell y'all again. Uh, this is a truck rescue, forty-two thousand one hundred eighty-three pounds going to Phoenix. So that's going to the actual dealership to be repaired. <clears throat> so yeah, let's get going. I just wish they would have added beacons, but but I'm glad my beacon thing works. make it it's gonna be interesting yeah, see little little things going on and I think we may have to turn another way turn right. Right. you know they got us turning right we're not gonna make it it's too long but we're gonna turn left unfortunately finding new route That's a got a lot of torque. I like that. That's what I'm talking about. Get ready to turn right. Auto car, not, not bad at all. 
set the jake and see how it sounds oh yeah just like a jake pulls the sound exactly and cop in a way soon once game is released we'll we suppose I don't know when we supposed to get um, the uh, the trucks so I don't know when that dealership is going to be actually officially what it is not sure it's going to be Mac not sure it's going to be uh, international but there's going to be something you know so we know we don't know got a few days ago last time uh, map was re uh, stake was released is released Ghost where it's actually made which is in uh, Prague United Kingdom UK and it was actually uh, released there and um, it would probably be more released in North I mean uh, the US and the States it would be probably more likely in um, like later on in that day uh, <clears throat> November 7 2019 if there's no delay So I have other mods in here and that's all I do. I just pace myself, put the right mods in. I mean, go with the mods that I think. And I'm all I'm doing is guessing because I don't put all my mods in, but I just put the, all the ones that I think that will work that are that I think that are up to date. And that's it. That's all I do. I don't do put all my mods in all at once and then expect everything to work all hunky dory because I'm in the beta. That doesn't mean anything. You know, cuz anything can happen. Anything I had crashes have little things happen and it's okay I give the game permission to do whatever you know and that's the thing that you gotta do you gotta give the game permission to do what it's supposed to do and if it break if it crashes the game start it over simple as that I mean why gripe about it's like I got into the group I was talking to somebody and I was letting people know about the mod and I'm just letting them know that 136, I'm in 136 as far according to what I was told, uh, 136. And then the same person that griped me was the same one that had to explain to the same people that actually was griping. So how the heck are you going to bring that to my attention and talking about misinformation? Don't bring that crap to me. I know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't have no problem with opening up my mouth about anything. So when it comes down to mods, I understand the whole kind of stuff. I understand the game. It has to give you have to give the game time for it to catch up to be able to receive whatever you're trying to put in it. It's going to receive whatever you put in it, you know. And sometimes it takes a couple of tries. You have to deal with the the little. The, I mean, the mods uh, technically is an offset of the game. The game is technically set up for regular. I mean, default use is not Still really right. set up for mods. And if it is set up for mods, if they, they, they condone the mods fully. Then they would not put the description at of it, a, a disclaimer at the bottom of the uh, game, you know. So, person say, "Oh well, uh, the game, my game broke because of the mods." So what? I mean, start it over. Take the stuff out. Restart it over. Take your mods out. I mean, that's the that's that's the uh, that's mainly the name of the game, you know. I've been dealing with this game and dealing with games pretty much the majority of my life. Uh, it's been over forty, over not over forty. It's been I've been playing games since I was maybe nine years old, so I understand how games are created and how what it takes to make them. And, and now, for the for the past few years, now the developers that actually make the game are actually in the game, which you have to respect the game being a lie, you know. And it's going to do whatever it's going to do. If it's, it can receive the mod, and it don't have to receive the mod, you know don't have to do it so you have to respect that and I know enough and I have enough knowledge about how the game is, is designed and created to receive whatever you put in it you know if you that's where you have to go on ahead you paint I mean if you're going to deal with mods then you got to understand the whole concept of mods is that the tow truck wow that's what I'm talking about they put the tow truck in there right by us oh, now they got the tow truck in there 
where it's supposed to be. Helping out. That's when that's what I'm talking about. That's why I stay in the beta. Because I need to see exactly what they're doing. And I would have never seen that if I wasn't in the beta. And a lot of you all are waiting to the betas start. I mean what I mean that, that's your opinion. I'm gonna go in here and find out. I don't even care. I know enough about the game to 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 clean my slate and start all over if I have to do it. I never had to do it. I never had to change the profile because I've always been up to date on what's going on. You know, my my profiles are so old, they about as old as the game. You know, and older. You know. Well they about as old as the game. Uh e ETS is the oldest up out of both platforms and I got a profile so old. I mean as old as that game is. And I don't start it all the way over. I do have other profiles that I use for testing. But other than that, once the game is up to speed, then I bring everything up to speed. That's it. And I'm not even, I mean, that savvy in dealing with the gaming stuff. You know, but I know enough and have enough intelligence to figure this stuff out. Not gripe about it. Oh, my God. This mod doesn't, is not compatible. And all you have to do is go into the, into the, uh, into the, uh, into the files and change the, the change the stuff. And it will make it compatible. I'll, that's all I've done. I never, and I, it was the first time I ever did it. First time I've ever did it. First time ever. I didn't understand it either. I was like, oh, incompatible. What is that all about? But if it's incompatible and you have opportunity to change things in it, and that's the difference between the, the, the uh, put this thing on cruise, uh, that's the opportunity that you have when you have mods that are on the site that, that you can get to. And you know, so, I mean, you know, if they're workshop mods, you can't, the developer has, I mean, the creator has to make sure that it's up to speed. You know, if it's wide open, now if you have your mod locked, then it's your responsibility. The one that locked it, they have to update it because they the one that has the key. So you have to explain, I mean, they have to do that. You can't do nothing about that, you know. So it's only fair to make sure the mod is open so people could bring it to their liking or you know, bring it up to speed. Now, if you want to wait until uh, or want to be the one to actually update it, so be it. But you'll be you. I mean, you have you have a, a lot of people that are crying and crying and because especially those paid mods, those paid mods, those mods have to be up to date, and people are not going to be waiting. And they're not gonna be patient because they spent their hard-earned money. They hit work. I mean, they spend. They, I'm the one. I've spent my hard-earned money, and if I had a mod that was uh, that needed to be updated, now if it was locked, I would be having a fit because I need that mod fixed so I can be able to to get my money's worth. You know. <clears throat> so if you got a mod that's that's free, and it, all it takes is you to figure some stuff out, and it, I mean, it, all it is is some learning curves to figure stuff out. Then that's what it is. That's all you have to do. You know, so I mean, not be griping about it, but don't bring things to my attention if you don't know what the heck you're talking about. I stay in the groups. I stay in the groups to learn, to grow, to do better, to get uh, uh, in incentives and, uh, and whatever to be able to uh, uh, enjoy my game. You know, that's what I do. You know, I see one of the, I see two of the uh, traders. I think that's those are two of the uh, tanker traders that I have as a mod. I don't know when they're going to bring out ownable trader, uh, ownable tankers, and who knows. And that maybe that feed trader may be a stepping stone to that. We don't know what SES has their their sleep. So I know that they are actually adding, um, uh, and I did say it in another video, and I'm stressing it again. They are adding, add uh, some more loads for. Uh, and I don't think it's gonna be the same loads. It may be actual loads, same loads, but it may be different destination going through Utah, you know, because it's supposed to be going through the copper mine. So <clears throat> just bring that up to speed for everybody. Other than that, uh, everything's good. Everything's, you know, trying to enjoy the, you know, whatever I'm doing. And then also, uh, I think I have a few other mods in here. I think the advertisement because I got tired of looking at the st uh, other stuff you know I got the sound mod in here so everything is looking good in here and that's why I just put enough in here to do what I need to do 
and that's it. I mean, I've even used to put a whole lot of mods in and thinking that expecting mods to, to do what they do, and, and a lot of times it can bog the game down. So I just put mods that I know that are that will work, and are the ones that I want, uh, uh, and and understand that the mods uh, you can't put too many mods in the game. Now this your system is strong enough, and then sometimes it can just bog the game down. So you know, plus it takes the the uh, actuality out of the game. So you know, the game is already designed for without the mods and the developers play the game without the mod so <clears throat> sometimes you gotta get you gotta get used to that that's mainly why truckers and peas around you know but that, i think since uh pro mods is out that's another stepping stone for mods to be able to uh, be put into the game so we'll see how long that lasts you know and we'll go you know all right, we got 45 minutes on here, 45 miles, uh, 49 minutes to go. So game is smooth as far as I can see. Um, it could be better, but uh, probably because I'm in the beta, so I'm taking it, to, uh, taking it in stride. <coughs> I've had few, few uh, uh, things happen in the game, you know. Other than that, some things, I mean, that's why a lot of the mods, I actually, I use them, and then sometimes I don't use them, or I put them in another profile. If I want, if I really want to use them, then I put them in another profile, and it doesn't matter, you know. I'm just enjoying the game, enjoying what I can do, and what I can benefit out of whatever I'm doing, and that's it. Without a lot of, you know, nonsense, you know, and that's mainly the problem with what we have, failure to communicate and failure to, to get along. And, and the thing about it with me, I, I can get along with anybody as long as they understand what I'm trying to do. You know, if you don't understand, then we're going to always clash. That's going to always be a problem, you know. And it doesn't matter to me because I'm, I'm, uh, my buddy Seeker. So, yeah, because I'm not going to be on here too long. I got to get ready to do my usual Sunday uh, things, you know. So I gotta head. I'm gonna be heading out. Gotta get freshened up and get ready to head on out of here. So I just felt like I didn't didn't know that I was gonna come across this, and I have to do the W990, another video with the W990 uh, on another note. Because um, dealing with the pain, you know, and that's just the way it is. So you got a chance to see this before I actually cut off. I don't know if I'll be able to upload it right away. Oh, this is nice. This this is another another addition to my heavy haul, my um, heavy transport. Definitely gonna be using this truck more often, especially for my uh, blogging and stuff like that. I seen it, but I didn't know that, that there's supposed to be another truck that's out. Um, I guess it's supposed to be what is that truck called? I found it, and it was technically for ETS. It was a lawyer truck, but I couldn't get. I didn't get a chance to actually. Well, I don't know if somebody actually brought it out or not. Or they made it, made it, they own, and probably just, just shared the pictures of it, just so you know. And that's what people do, and it's okay, you know. I, I respect that. <clears throat> you know, show your true talent is fine. You know, I'll, I'll never knock nobody from for showing, sharing that, but don't get mad because people ask questions, and you know. And if it's private, it's private, you know. But if it isn't, I mean, I always say if something's private, then you, I wouldn't let nobody know about it, you know. I can care less, you know. The person that, that's being shared to can care less. Because if you're not willing to share it, then why would you broadcast it? You just, you know, causing problems. So, 
Turn left. And that's the toxic energy that I try to avoid, you know, because I got my own page, I got my own channel, and that's all I care about. I don't care too much about. Also, we did hit 200 likes. Congratulations to myself and those that um, are that are part of uh, my fan base. Appreciate all that. The likes, you know. Go uh, maybe sooner or later, I'll probably be dealing with the star uh, uh, aspect of. Uh, of Facebook I'm not sure um, but we'll see where we go from there I did have an opportunity I just have to get back into the into the mindset of that and this is this ain't a bad truck I like it it reminds me of the c500 you know but it's an auto car yeah, it's nice, very nice. Not bad at all. And I appreciate whoever, um, and I probably have to look in the, look inside the mod or look inside the forearm to see who actually made it and give a shout out to them or whatever. You know, hopefully those that do get the, get it, you know, don't hesitate to give credit where it's due. A lot of times I don't have time to do that, but I appreciate everybody that actually do their part, play their role. And I think we're going to stop right there. I'm not going to straighten it out. It's just too much to do. And we're going to cut off right here. So they give us this opportunity to park it right here. And there we have it. So truck rescue, CN truck rescue delivered from Flagstaff to uh, Phoenix. All right. Let y'all look at the last. Uh, part of the truck also I'm sure there's yep there's some Kenworth trucks I don't feel like hauling them right now but they're there if I decide to go and haul them and this is a pretty nice truck so. alright and I'll catch y'all on the next video I'm going ahead and take another pit and that'll be it and I'll catch y'all on the next video try 342 out